this tutorial I'm going to show you how to connect MySQL to Java using NetBeans. I have MySQL installed on my machine. I am using WAMP server. If you would like to use WAMP server as well, you can download it from the following URL and install it. After installing WAMP server you will no and run it, you will notice there is an icon here. You click that icon and then MySQL, then MySQL console. That will bring the MySQL console to the screen. By default, my, there will be no password for the database. I will keep it the way it is for simplicity. I'm going to press on enter and I'm ready to use it. First of all, I'm going to create a database going to call it employee record next I'm going to create a table inside this database I'm going to call it employee For simplicity, I'm going to have only two fields here. First field is first name, which is going to be for char theory. And the second field is last name, which is going to be for char theory as well. Next I'm going to insert some data in this database. So insert into employee values. First name is John. And last name is Andrew. Next I'm going to show you how to connect it to Java. After creating the database, you will need to download the connector that will connect to Java. Browse to the following URL, mysql.com slash products slash connector. When you come to this page, you will need to download the following connector, which is JDBC driver for mysql. Click on download and save it to your disk. I have it already on my computer so I'm going to skip this step. Now you can open NetBeans and start new project. The project going to be Java, Java application. Next, I'm going to call this project MySQL Connection. After creating the project, come to the library and expand it. You will notice there is only JDK available for you. Right click on the library and add a jar folder. In this step we are adding the connector that we downloaded from MySQL. I have it saved on my desktop. So double click it and open it and you will need the jar file that's in it, MySQL connector. Notice that it's been added to your library. Now you are ready to use it. First of all I'm going to import java.sql.all for simplicity, I will throw exception from the main method. Now I'm going to load the driver. And we will do that in class for name. And here I will write the path to the driver. 
that's in com.mysql.jdbc and in here if you scroll down that's the class we are loading driver driver with capital D because it's class name now we're ready to do the connection connection from is equal to driver manager dot connection this method will take three parameters the first one is the URL to MySQL so JDPC is the type of connection the name of the database is MySQL or the type of the database is MySQL it's available on the local host because it's on my machine it has the port 3306 and the database name is employee underscore record after doing the connection we can do the prepared statement